So now that you've come here to this, to our sticky tape lab, we're being asked this guiding question. Is there a force between two pieces of tape that are not touching? And so we're going to try to get some evidence here today to help uh, be able to answer this guiding question. But before we get into that, we're going to try to see what this static charge is. And so I want to try to have us watch this video here to describe the transfer charge. yellow duster produce such a strange effect. What's going on? You can't see them with the naked eye, but this polythene strip contains many tiny electrically charged particles. Some of these are positive charges and some are negative charges. The cloth contains charged particles too. There are exactly the same number of positive and negative charges. They cancel each other out. So the whole object has no total charge. We say it's neutral. As I rub the strip with the cloths, negative charges transferred from the cloths to the strip. As there are more negative than positive charges on the strip now, it has a negative charge. The opposite happens when I rub the acetate strip. This time, the negative charges move the other way, from the strip onto the duster. So this time, there are more positive than negative charges left on the acetate strip. It now has a positive charge. So that video really just got us started thinking about this transfer charge. So I just want you to try to describe this transfer charge. What actually moves with the charge? So some of you even wrote in to the comment here saying what actually moved. Well, the thing that actually moved was that was the electron. The negative charge is what actually moves. So you guys were trying to get into about what's actually transferring. Well, it's that electron. And so just like in when the when in that question, when someone was rubbing a comb through their hair, it's moving electrons to go from one space to another. And that's how something's going to get to more negative. Protons can't move. It's these electrons, the electrons. They are the charge carriers. That's what carries charge to go from one spot to another. So I have this experimental setup. So we can watch this video, and this gets into what we're going to get to today. But I'm not going to...
play this whole video. It's available to us that we can use. Mostly what I want to show is what I'm going to be doing here, is I'm going to put some tape on the table. And I'm going to create a base tape. I'm not going to touch that at all. And then I'm going to pick up off the table a piece of bottom tape and top tape. They're going to be connected together. And then when they're connected together, I'm going to neutralize them. Just like in the video, I'm going to make it so that way they have no net charge. They're going to have the same number of protons, same number of electrons. And then I'm going to set up just like how we have here with a top tape, a bottom tape, a piece of paper, and a piece of foil. As I do that, the whole point of that is so that way now I have something here that's going to have a certain amount of charge, this bottom tape, and the opposite is going to be on this top tape. So I'm going to take these two pieces of tape, they're together, and then I'm going to strip them. So that way one piece of tape will have more positive charge. Another piece of tape will have more negative charge. The paper is just going to have a regular paper charge. The foil is just going to have regular foil charge. And then we're going to bring in together another piece of top tape, another piece of bottom tape. And we're going to see, do they get attracted? If they get pulled to one another, then there's a force. If they get pushed away from one another, then there's a force. So if they're attractive or repulsive, then we know that there's a force. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the setup of how we're setting this up. Then you can watch this video, start describing it. And as I set it up, then we're going to collect data. And that from that data, then we're going to be able to understand what's going on. So What we have here is you can see a foil on the left and a paper on the right. I'm going to move my camera. So what I have here is I have created a base tape. And on top of the base is two separate pieces of tape that I have labeled with a B and a T. I'm going to do the same thing with another set of tape. So I have off on the side, I have built up another bottom tape, top tape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fasten them 
or take them to this meter stick. So right now, the tape is on my neck. The reason why it's on my neck is because I want it to become neutralized. There is moisture in your neck. Moisture, along with salt, carries charge. So now this tape has a net charge of zero. With a net charge of zero, that means it has, if it has five protons, it has five electrons. It has a much larger number than that. But if it, I'm just giving as an example, if it had seven proton, that means it has seven electrons. But we do know it has a much larger number than that. I'm going to be able to take these two and separate them. Whereas I separate them, I'm going to do so quickly. When I do it quickly, it's so that way, this is a neutral charge. If I pull them apart, then it's going to be taking electrons with it or leaving electrons there. So we don't know which one's going to be positive and which one's going to be negative. But we can separate this and then place two separate charges on either side. And we're going to then make another top tape, bottom tape with opposite charges, bring them close to one another and to see the reaction. I'm going to make another piece of tape because it is tape. I'm going to begin again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to separate a bottom tape and a top tape. As I separate the bottom tape, top tape, one's going to have five electrons and the other is going to have five, less than five electrons, creating the net charge between the two to still be a net charge of zero, but they will be oppositely charged.
What we have set up is now we have on the left-hand side, the bottom tape. On the right-hand side, the top tape. In between the two, the silverish material is aluminum foil. The white material is paper. We are going to bring together another bottom tape and top tape. We are again going to see the interaction between the two. As I bring aluminum foil, I'm going to bring this aluminum foil close to the aluminum foil. You can see that nothing happens. What I'm doing is I'm bringing a material to test the material to see is there interaction. We are testing is there a force between tape not touching. So we have the tape out. I have aluminum foil. I don't see any interaction. That tells me that there is no force between aluminum foil and aluminum foil. I can look at aluminum foil and paper. And I don't see any interaction. I can look at, there is interaction. There is interaction. There is interaction. So with aluminum foil and tape, there is an attraction. They get pulled to one another. Now with the rid of with the tape and the paper still getting pulled to one another. The paper and the foil does not get pulled. The paper and the paper does not get pulled. The paper and the tape does get pulled. So now I can make another set of tape. And I make another set of tape. I have here a top tape and a bottom tape. We're going to then bring them close to one another. So that way we can see the interaction between a top tape and a top tape. And we can see the interaction between top tape and a bottom tape. So we're going to first Split the charge. And we're going to view first the top tape and top tape interaction. So I'm going to bring top tape over close to top tape and they push away from one another. They are repulsive. I bring top tape close to paper they attract one another, they go to. I bring the top tape close to the aluminum foil. They are attracted, they come close to. And I bring the top tape close to the bottom tape and it really gets attracted to where that, there's a big force between the two. I can even be pretty far away and I see an interaction between the two. I can then do it with a bottom tape and top tape. I bring bottom tape close to top tape. I see the top tape gets attracted to it. I bring the top tape or I bring a bottom tape close to paper. The paper is attracted. I bring the bottom tape close to the aluminum foil. It's attracted. I bring the bottom tape close to bottom tape and it is repulsed. So you have summarized your setup. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna click here to make a copy. So go ahead and click to make a copy. Oh, 
everyone is to make two changes. So, what I mean by that, everyone is to make two changes. So on your copy, I want it to read top in foil. And then for this one, I want it to read bottom and paper. And then as you're doing this, what you're going to do is we are going to bring out the forces that we saw. So with the top and the foil, the top tape was attracted to the foil. So what, what we're seeing was an attraction between the top tape and the foil. So I'm just going to include the materials here to indicate that there was an attraction. So I show here in, an attraction. They go to one another. I saw with the top tape and the uh, bottom tape that there was a big attraction. So then I put that there was a big attraction because the top tape and the bottom tape had a big attraction. So I used the forces to indicate that there was a big attraction. And then I'm going to add in my labels because I need to label that there are forces acting here. that are causing us to be attracted or repulsed. So you're going to need to label these in. So this is just how we're gonna be getting started. What we're also gonna do is we're gonna view what happens on the gap, 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 for the chart. I can also bring in PVC rod. When I rub this with this material, then the material does something to PVC rod. It makes PVC rod negative. So when I get the PVC rod to be negative, I am just taking material and rubbing material onto PVC rod. By doing so, this is now negative. I know opposites attract. So with it being negative, if something is attracted to it, it's opposite. So if something goes to this, that's the thing that goes to this is a positive thing. The thing that goes away from it is a negative thing. So if something goes to it, it's positive. Something go away from it, it's negative. So I bring the negative close to the bottom tape and it is repulsed. I bring the negative close to the top tape, there is an attraction. There's an attraction between the paper, there's an attraction between the foil. I also have a loose sight rod. This lucite rod is a polymer. I'm going to rub another polymer onto it. That's going to make this a positively charged rod. This positive rod will be attracted to negative and it will repel a net charge of positive.
So the positive is attracted to the bottom. It's repelling the top and it's attracting the foil and the paper. So when we come back over to our sticky data, now we're gonna be able to label, well, the top and the bottom, they're gonna have opposite. I know that the bottom was attracted to the positive and then top was repelled by the positive. So that tells me that the top should have a positive charge and the top should have a positive charge. The bottom, it was being repelled by the negative charge and it was being attracted to the positive charge. So that tells me what's going on there. And so what I'm doing is I'm assigning the charges to both my top and my bottom tape. And also adding in the labels that I need to have for my forces. Your attention, please. We have an emergency situation. Implement lockdown procedures immediately. Your attention, please. We have an emergency situation. Implement lockdown procedures immediately. So we're doing a lockdown drill. We'll come back to this. So I'm just going to mute you guys. I'm just going to mute you guys and stop.
All right, everybody, we're coming back now. So run it back. Your attention, please. We have an emergency situation. So there's just going to be voices. That's all. That's just how it is. So we make. Thank you. Your attention, please. Oh. We have an emergency situation. Implement lockdown procedures immediately. Your attention, please. We have an emergency situation. Implement lockdown procedures immediately. Your attention, please. We have an emergency situation. Implement lockdown procedures immediately. <laughs> Your attention, please. We have an emergency situation. Implement lockdown procedures immediately. All right. So you have to finish this. You have to label all of your images using the force, the positive charge, negative charge. You have to say, is this top tape charge? Is this foil charge? There's a force acting on them, causing them to come together. There's a force acting on the bottom paper and um, the bottom tape and the paper here, causing them to be attracted to one another. There's a, a force here between the top tape and the top tape. So you have to label in the forces. You also have to label in with these arrows. You also have to label in with the positive and the negative charges. Once you get to that, you labeled each interaction, you labeled the forces. Now we're going to download this as, as a ping. So I'm going to go to download and ping. The P I N the P N G image. So I'm going to download this, and I'm going to insert this in from my downloads. So this image here, I can save. I can save it to my downloads. I can also move it from my downloads. I can move it to a different location. For me, sometimes moving it to my desktop, that works for me. However you move it to, that's gonna be the best place for you to find it and view it. So I'm just gonna move it here. And then I'm gonna insert my Google Drawing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Insert, I want to insert an image. I'm going to upload it. What was it called? Yeah. So I just downloaded my image and now I have it uploaded into my document. So it's fully embedded. So I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to show us how I did it again. So I'm going to come back over here from the, the sticky data. Your attention, please. We have an emergency situation. Implement lockdown procedures immediately. Your attention, please. We have an emergency situation. Implement lockdown procedures immediately. Your attention, please. We have an emergency situation. Implement lockdown procedures immediately. Your attention, please. We have an emergency situation. Implement lockdown procedures immediately. Your 
So attention, please. We have an emergency situation. Implement lockdown procedures immediately. Your attention, please. We have an emergency situation. Implement lockdown procedures immediately. All right. So I finished making my Google drawing and I finished labeling all the forces. I finished labeling all the charges. I need to input it here into my document. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna go back over to my copy of sticky data and I'm going to download this. Where is the download? Download as a ping, P-I-P-N-G. So as I download this, then it's going to go into my downloads folder. As it's in my downloads folder, yes, we do have to finish labeling them. After I finish labeling them and I have it fully labeled, dude. Dude, we freaking understand you. Try number 23. I finished making my Google drawing. I finished labeling it. I finished. All this is done. I still, if I were to turn this in, this is not done. So you need to actually put all the clicking and put in the, the things to different spots. You got to put in the arrows to the right places. You got to finish labeling. And so when you finish labeling and let's assume that I did finish, then I'm gonna download, I'm gonna download as a ping, PNG. As I download to PNG, it is now in my downloads folder. I can keep it there or I can move it. Uh, I'm gonna move mine to my desktop. It's sometimes just easier for me to find it there. Sometimes if you move it to your drive, sometimes that's easier for you too. So now that I have my copy of sticky data, I'm gonna come back over here and I'm going to insert an image. So the way I'm going to insert an image is I'm gonna click insert and I'm gonna insert an image. So I'm gonna click insert to image and I'm gonna upload from the computer. I just downloaded this image and I, I named it copy of sticky data. So this is the one I'm going to turn in and open up and put into here. So now I have my image as well embedded in here. Now, as I am going to quickly move on to the next steps, what we're going to see is going to be this sticky tape apply. And so I'm going to show us one, and then we're gonna to have to get number two and number three on our own and number uh, evaluate here as well. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. No. So, on number one, I have a drawing. Number two, I have a drawing. Number three, I have a drawing. Number one, I'm gonna draw the drawing. So that's what I'm gonna do. On this blank paper, I'm gonna draw the drawing I see in number one.
here I have top tape and bottom tape. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to draw this to answer this question here where I want you to try to say where you can imagine these two different pieces of tape down to this atomic level. And so what we're going to try to draw is a model representing these two tapes and how they get separated to get the, the images that we're expecting. So I'm going to remind us in our tape here that we're saying the bottom tape got this negative charge and that the top tape got this positive charge. So that's what we're saying here with our data. So what should be left should be a positive net charge. Amongst them at the top tape. Then I'm going to draw in a negative net charge. on the bottom tape. When it gets close to where they are in piece, where they stick together, where they take the same tape, what I'm drawing in here is I'm trying to show that these are going to be neutral charge before the tape rips it up. So before this top tape gets pulled up, there's positive charges all along. When the top tape and bottom tape, they stick together. These two charges, positive and negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. It's a neutral piece of tape. Without the tape removing itself, it has a neutral charge amongst itself. So then the top tape pulls up. We notice that top tape gets a positive net charge and the negative tape has a negative net charge. But prior to them getting pulled apart, they will both have a net charge of zero, both within both sets of tapes. It was in the act of ripping apart where we did work on the system to actually get to that. So then I would take a picture of this. This would be my drawing for number one. I then draw this and then I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to insert this into my number one. So I take a picture of it. After I take a picture of it, and I come here and I insert my hand drawing in for number one. Then I want you to try to do the same thing, getting here for number two and number three, where you're going to draw in the images for number two and number three, where number two and number three, they're going to be following along what we see here. where I want you to try to draw in what's going on with this top tape, where we know the top tape has a positive net charge and it pulled the paper. The bottom tape has a negative net charge, but it also pulled the paper. So I want you to try to come up with a way to draw this image showing that the paper was attracted to both a positive and to a negative. And then lastly, try to come up with a way what happens inside the foil with this top tape and this foil, the bottom tape and the foil, both of which were attracted. We saw both the tape and the foil, both pieces of tape, top and bottom, both positive charge and negative charge, both get attracted to the foil. So I want you to try to draw that on there as well. Then getting down to this last part, is there a force between two pieces of tape that are not touching? So the claim, this is where you're just going to answer the question. Your answer should just be yes. Yes, there is a force. The evidence. The evidence, you're going to be able to cite between what you see here. 
that we saw a repulsion between two pieces of tape. The evidence can be that you saw the repulsion between two pieces of tape or an attraction between two pieces of tape. And then the reasoning. This is where you got to say, well, I know that a top tape had a negative charge or a top tape had a positive charge and the bottom tape had a negative charge. So you got to point out what the charges are. And then how do you get to that net charge? And then how does that net charge show that these two pieces of tape had this force? So you have to kind of reason through what you, what you see in order to say that there is a, a force between these two pieces of tape. So on that note, I'm going to say thank you and have a great day, everyone. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I want you to finish up this lab as best you can. And thank you very much. Have a great day now. Bye.